guys, my name is C. Later, and I like to make tutorial videos for Skyrim. This is Skyrim Special Edition. I have mods, but you don't need mods for this first tutorial that I'm going to show you. Uh, we're here in the main menu screen, and what I'd like to talk about today is how to start a new game without uh, any mods, without taking the carriage ride, without going to Helgen, and without necessarily having to play a Dragonborn character. If you'd like to play a non-Dragonborn character and that's a part of your roleplay experience that you'd like to use a Skyrim for as a story engine, then this method should work for you even if you don't have any mods installed like Alternate Start, Live Another Life, or Skyrim Unbound. I'm, I use Skyrim Unbound uh, for my current playthrough uh, but I, I, you don't need mods to do what I'm going to show you. Uh, all you need to do from the main menu screen, uh, and I know this looks a little bit different than the normal main menu screen, but like I said, I do have a few mods on here. But you can see I have continue, new, load, add-ons, etc. Uh, what I don't need any of these. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my tilde key, which is the key right next to your number one if you're using a western style keyboard. And I'm just going to type in a console command of COC, which stands for Center on Cell. And then I'm going to pick any uh, cell code name uh, in the game that I'd like to have my character start out standing in. Now, most of those code names are, as a rule of thumb, pretty easy. Uh, for instance, I'll just do White Run. And there is a point in a cell called White Run where we should end up if I just press Enter. All right, so here we are. We've just uh, spawned in in a location in White Run. Now, this is pretty much what it would look like, I believe, if you're running a vanilla game. I have mods, so what I did was I just waited for all of my MCM menu. Uh, pop-ups and all the new game pop-ups and all that stuff to go away so that we could just I could just show you this is the screen that you're gonna see if you do that COC white run command so if you just want to take a look around here you can see right over there is white run we're just on the bridge here uh, right uh, on the edge of the cell called white run and you might say to yourself well we didn't create a character, so what happened? Well, if I just go to third person, you'll see that we actually have the default character, which is a Nord character. If we go to the uh, level menu, you can see that our name is Prisoner. We're a level one, and we're a Nord. And we got all of the starting stats for a Nord. So we got some pluses in block and smithing and uh, two-handed and one-handed and those sort of things. Now, if I show you my items right now, here is our items list. Now, I'm using uh, two mods here, uh, Sky UI and Deer Diary, to change the way the uh, interface works and looks. But uh, generally, you should be able to go through and look at, for instance, weapons. So for this default Nord character, we were given iron arrows, an iron dagger, an iron sword, an iron war axe, and a longbow. So that's a pretty good starting setup for any warrior character. Uh, if we take a look at armor, you'll see I have a couple of mod added items. So if you don't have uh, these mods installed, just ignore those. And you'll see that we have equipped iron armor. Iron boots, iron gauntlets, iron helmet, and we have an iron shield. So for a warrior character, again, you are pretty much uh, got a, a good loadout starting right off the bat. We have been given a couple of potions as well. Potion of light feet, healing magicka stamina, a potion of resist fire, a couple of those, and then a potion of the warrior. You also will get the book of the dragonborn. Uh, with this character, I do believe, even if you are in an unmodded or a vanilla game, but the rest of these are added by uh, mods, so I won't discuss those. Uh, you are given, uh, uh, also, also, you are given a few lockpicks, 
couple of, and a couple of torches. Uh, again, the water skin here and the auto storage, uh, this stuff is added uh, by mods. So as you can see, uh, if we just uh, select a couple of weapons here, let's see, we already have, uh, in our right hand, we already have selected the Iron War Axe. So let's see what happens if we equip also our shield. So if I just get in a fighting stance, you can see we started the game here fully heavily armored up and with a couple weapons and we're ready to go. So if you're interested in role playing as this Nord war a warrior character, um, you can just start the game right now and you can go anywhere and do anything with a couple of exceptions. I would recommend if you are running the uh, vanilla game, I would recommend that you avoid uh, speaking to the Jarl in Whiterun uh, because you will end up starting the main quest line. If you want to start the main quest line, you can do that. Just go and talk to the Jarl about dragons. If you don't want to start the main quest line, go somewhere else. Go away from Whiterun. Go play the game in an area that you've never played in before. These are all just suggestions and recommendations. Now, I'm going to get away from this waterfall because it's making a little bit of noise. And I'm just going to move over here towards the uh, metery and uh, and I want to talk about a couple more things now uh, let's say for instance uh, I don't want to be ignored uh, and I don't want to be named prisoner what do I do so again this works whether you have mods or not you just enter the console command for show race menu with no spaces and what that will do will open up your race menu now again I have uh, the race menu mod which adds a bunch of sliders and changes the interface around but for your character uh, you can use this uh, to then if you want to for instance I can change the race if I would like to be a uh, Dunmer I can switch to a Dunmer character uh, if you would like to use a preset you can go through the vanilla presets and select a character that looks right for you. And uh, you can go through, uh, if I an un unequipped his helmet, uh, that probably would have been a good idea to do that first before I uh, came into this menu. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so there you go. You have all of these different uh, things that you can do. And let's see. If I want to, I can exit out of this menu simply by pressing uh, R or done. Is this who I want to be? Okay. And this is where you can change your name. So let's call this guy mm, Grow uh, Gro Adolin. I'm just making it up. So his name is Grow Adolin. And uh, so this guy could be used even as a test character. Uh, <clears throat> at Gale, Olin, <laughs> trademark. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's how you change your character. Now, what if you want to change his gear? You've got a couple of different options that you can do here as well. If you want to, you can uh, perhaps find a container somewhere. Uh, let's see. Are there any containers over in this area? Yeah, right over here is a couple of barrels, and you don't have to do it this way, but. You can just uh, go into the container and, you know, if you don't like what you got, just uh, just put it in the container. Get rid of all of it. There you go. And then what you can do is now we have our character. Now, that was from a mod, so just ignore that. We have our character in the nude. Again, if you want to go in and tweak him in the race menu, you can do that. Uh, I would recommend, if you are using mods, that you use the race menu fix mod. Uh, which I don't know for sure is or isn't uh, included in the race menu mod itself. But there is some issues possibly in vanilla if you're using the race menu, depending on where you are, uh, that it could cause some uh, game crashes. But if it does crash your game, just go in and do it again until it doesn't crash your game, and then you'll have your character. So here we have our character. I've already forgotten his name. His name is Groadalyn, and he is now a Dark Elf. And as long as I didn't do anything, I should have the correct 
perks uh, being adjusted for a Dark Elf. So I've got Alchemy and Illusion. And if you remember, we had some uh, big buffs for Warriors uh, with our Nord character, and those are gone now. So that works as well. Uh, now, you probably don't want to play the game naked, so how do we get stuff? Well, the way you get stuff is by, again, going into the console, and this is if you don't have mods. Uh, go into the console, type in the word help, and then anything that you would like to look for. So if I would like, let's say uh, this character is going to be the uh, Dunmer equivalent of the Ebony Warrior. So I would maybe just uh, type in the word Ebony. And you're going to get a lot of results that come up. And uh, whenever you do get a lot of results like that, just use your page up and page down key to move up and down the list. So if you look, all of those WEAPs there that came up, those are all weapons. And if we keep going up, we can find these are all armors. Some of these are enchanted armors that are added by a mod. And But if you just uh, keep looking through, you'll find some uh, stuff that is vanilla. And the way that you find vanilla stuff versus modded stuff when you're just uh, browsing like this if you see numbers and letters over here in these first two digits, uh, see for this uh, Ebony Armor of Faith, this is a mod added item. I can tell because there are numbers and letters in these first two digits. If I go up just a couple more, uh, you'll see that 000, these are all vanilla items. So if I just keep going up, I can see at the very top of this list I have... Here's Ebony Boots, Ebony Armor, Ebony Gauntlets, Ebony Helmet, Ebony Shield, Ebony Mail. So uh, if I am, let's say I'm interested in, like I said, I'm going to make, I'm going to dress this guy out. So let's say I want to add this Ebony Mail. How do I do that? So uh, if you already know how to do this, then uh, I don't apologize. Because if you're a beginner or you don't know how to do this, this is very useful information. Player. Type in player and then press dot add with no spaces item. Then you're going to type in the code that you see next to what you're looking for. So we're looking for armor and we want the ebony mail, which I believe is even a quest added uh, type of item. All we have to do, you don't have to type the zeros. The zeros are ignored by the game engine. Just type in the first digit. And then the, each subsequent digit. So 52794. If I type in 52794. And then the quantity. So you do have to put in a quantity here I believe. Uh, I don't know if you leave it blank if it will work. Let's see if it works if I don't put in a quantity. Yep. It needed the quantity. Now if you want to retype something. Because something happened where you typed it wrong. Or you came up with a message like this. Where it says missing parameter count. Uh, just press the up arrow key. Not the W key. But the up arrow key. And that will reload the last uh, things that you typed in. And this keeps a running list. So if you typed in a whole bunch of stuff. And you need to go retype in something again. All you have to do is just keep pressing the up arrow. So let's put in the number one and we'll see what happens. We it says ebony mail gained. So if I hit the tilde key and exit the console, look at our inventory, we can see we now have the very luxurious uh, ebony mail. I believe this is a Daedric artifact, as a matter of fact. If I equip it, uh, oops, wrong button, tab out of there. Now we have equipped the ebony mail. If I want to add the uh, uh, accompanying uh, accoutrements, the boots and gauntlets and helmet, all I have to do is do that. Now let's go back again into the console and we'll take a look at uh, weapons. So I'm just going to type the uh, up arrow again I'm, and I'm just going to pick that very last weapon that's right there above and I'm going to type in 1 db 5 8 and again I'm going to type 1 and hit enter and you can see ebony war axe of exhaustion gained so now again if we go into our inventory 
Go to look at weapons. We can see we have the Ebony War Axe of Exhaustion. This one happens to already have an enchantment on it. So if you want, you can uh, start off with an enchanted weapon or not. And there you can see we've already we've got it equipped, ready to go. And if we want to fight, there it is. We're ready to fight. Take a couple of whacks. There you go. If you don't have mods installed, you won't lose stamina for taking those extra swings. But uh, I believe that's Wildcat mod I have that's uh, costing me stamina every time I swing. But there you go. So now we have some pretty cool starter gear uh, to get our character going. That's all going to be based on the story that you're trying to tell. So you can add items, any, any items that you want, really, anything in the game just by using that help command. Now, I'm going to go back over here to this barrel. And if you are using mods, I might have to steal back uh, one of my items here. But I'm using a mod called Add Item Menu. And I'll leave a link to this down in the description. I've talked about it in other uh, tutorial videos before, but I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go ahead and get the stuff out of this uh, container. And we're just going to take everything. Uh, take that, 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 that. Okay, so now we have items in our inventory. If we take a look at what we have, we've got a couple of books. These are spells. So if I want to, I can learn the spell for searching and the add item menu spell. And I have two items here. One is called the add item menu SE. And the other one is called search. That's the one that's really useful. If I activate that, it gives me a little search up here. And now I can just type in anything that I want. So let's say uh, my character is a uh, fighter that is uh, uh, blessed by Meridia. And starting off in the game, I want to fight the undead. That's th the whole premise of my character. I might just type in Dawn just like that don't have to type in the whole word I might just type in dawn if I'm looking for the dawn breaker so you can see if you have mods it's going to bring up the mods you can search within the mod uh, even the uh, DLC which counts uh, kinda like a mod it's an add-on uh, or you can just hit this uh, search item that'll bring up everything in the game that has the word dawn in it so if we look at weapons and maybe by damage, we can see, oh here, I have a mod added uh, Dawnbreaker variant, which is a great sword that is the Dawnbreaker great sword. So perhaps that would be a good weapon for us to use for our character story. I'll go ahead and equip that. Take a look at that. Now that's a pretty cool looking sword if I don't mind saying so. So there you go. That's another way that you can add items to your character uh, if you are using mods. So, uh-oh. Are you an enemy or a friend? Huh? You're a male Nord. We don't even know who you are. If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabio. All right. We'll definitely do that because I'm looking at this guy. And uh, this guy, he looks like he likes to drink. So I think I'm going to cut it there. Uh, this is the end uh, of what I hope will be a, a short series of videos on some different things that you can do to manipulate the game to work for you, to make the game the way you want it to be. It's your game. You should play, you should play it like you want to. That's, that's my motto, guys. This is your game, and you should play it like you want to. I'm see you later, guys, and I'll see you later.